Hi again everyone. Well, I think we'll try something uh, a summer theme, but with some very light, light colours in it. Light uh, summery colours and some brighter greens than we've been using. So here we go. And I've not planned anything really out, so let's see what we can come up with. Uh, we'll have a a wide path here yeah, this time, very wide, and uh, just uh, just showing a bit of the side of that house. And a tall tree that way. We we'll put a little mount mill at the back there. And ah, another one coming in front with a few trees there, and that fading behind there. And this, uh, I'll tell you what, we haven't. We weren't going to do this, but so let's put a link in here. Right, there's some, put some nice reeds in there. Let's see how long we can bring this, yeah. Because what we want to do here, you know, the, the path here, is to try and bring a, a nice summer scene. That's what we need. Okay, so here we go now. I'll give the the sky a damp in, and I want a really bright blue. Now, what shall we pick for a really bright blue? Okay, well, so, now you'd think cobalt, wouldn't you? No, but let's. I tell you what, let's pick some Windsor. Now I'm going to put Windsor blue on and just see. How bright is that? The yeah, air winds are a little bit nice and bright. Flat bottom clouds there. A little bit of light red. Summertime, nice light. Light grey clouds there. Yeah. I'll have some coming up from the bottom next time. Clouds down here. Coming up from the here. And that's the blue I wanted. And that's that's what I wanted, that blue, which is nice and bright. Ah. There we are again. A bit more. Making that travel across that. Uh, Now they leave it that. Now that's just a simple blue sky, and uh, <coughs> we'll have this a very light cast. It's in this frontage, and bright trees and a bit of nice bright um, landscape in green. So for that, we we'll use really light green, eh? So just a little bit of uh, lemon yellow, but on, then just have a little bit of raw sienna for this, because although it's going to be light, we don't want it to off colour, a bit wrong colour, bright, too, uh, uh, too, I don't know, too green in a way.
So you're putting a bit of raw, you're using a bit of lemon yellow, put a bit of raw sienna in this time. I'll just mix it in up, yeah. And uh, we'll just bring it from here, across here. Nice and loose. There, like that. Now here, we'll just have a background here, just there. I think that'll do from this that green there to there. Okay. I'll just take away any of this uh, colorings there, uh, that in case we want to put any, it won't show when we go over the top of it. Now that's bright in it, so there we are. Coming along with the brightness we're looking for. There's the path. And now, this uh, water. That's okay, so our next bit, we re we'll, we'll just bring in this, uh, leave the front of the house and bring in the uh, a little bit of raw sienna. Or, yes, raw sienna and a little bit of uh, burnt sienna, yeah. Let's just have a look at the colour we've got here. Now that's, that's okay. We don't want it too dark, so we'll wet it down a little bit. Because we want some uh, nice uh, reflection. White, nice white patches there. Now, just let it dry a little bit. Now, keeping it in the same lightness, we just have a little bit of uh, sienna and a little bit of blue with it. Oh, no, I better have a bit of umber with it too. We need a bit of darkness to it. So, umber, we'll say then, and uh, ultramarine, it's okay. This would be doing well today. I'm not shaking very much, so that's good. No, I've got have a little bit of more ultramarine to it. And we'll use that as our roof colour.
just put a little bit of uh, lightness in that, that lighten this up. Like that. Right. Okay. Now we'll have a bit of uh, ultramarine and a little bit of uh, light red, which we usually do. Keeping it more on the grey colour. That's it for now. Okay. It's a bit dark maybe. We'll see. Now I'm picking some uh, the light green up with a little more raw sienna into it. I'm just putting it, putting it down here. And here could be a cornfield. Tip. Right then, now, just this time, lemon yellow, Windsor blue, and a bit raw sienna as we said before. This time it sits stronger, more in it, not as much water, and just Oh yeah, do it that like that. This uh, bit of uh, soil under the tips of the grass coming round here, say, and on the edge of the the lake. That's it. Ah, uh, something out of nothing again. Other trees. Uh, let's get some strength into it. That's just right for what we wanted. Just there too. I don't know 
it's drying up this one. No, not quite, but it doesn't matter. Oh, there we are. No, no. That's better. Ah, this one. This nice bright trees. Not very wide this time. It's oh. coming too. to sleep here. Yeah. No, 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 different to that. Now then, next thing, rigger brush. There's my rigger. Have I lost it? Mm -hmm. oh, this would keep on what I've got on here.
That's it. Just an ordinary straight line like that will do. Oh goodness shakes again. The sunshine. No, that's uh, better, isn't it? Mm. Right. Mm -mm. Not sure if it's dry. No, it's not dry. Just dried it off a bit.
See how that looks. Eh? Well, there's a nice light summer scene to try. It's just using some bright greens this time. by a long way and I see so many faults afterwards so many improvements you could make if I did it again on top of that well same one again you wouldn't need that mountain in the back there perhaps a little bit stronger blue in the sky and in the water and I think that would be it for you Hi, now this is what I've done for you, but I've made it very light, summery greens. So you can try some light greens for a change. Thanks for looking in now. I'm just going to show you a few things. What, how I kept myself interested when I was abroad in the forces. Now there's uh, the regimental sign painters. This was Jim Chun Wa from uh, Lockhart Road, Hong Kong. Uh, this is a, a drawing there, see? Now, I used to pass my time, you see it's all gone brown. I would get pieces of paper and I would just simply uh, paint them white and then I would do this lettering. See, modern decorative style, rounded block, but it's an interesting thing to do if you want. Can you see, you make it look as though it's raised up. It's an interesting, thing to do if, you, if you're a bit short of wanting to draw it. Just draw some of these. Uh, a Roman capital, see? There's a block with shade. Uh, here's a Roman club foot. See, now this is what I, I was a, a painter, of course. There's old English capitals and this is just straight Roman. Here's some old English and decorate, decorative letters. Uh, there's another decorative with a shade. Here's another decorative letter. 
The, I used to like that one. That's a nice one, isn't it? Can you? Let me. I bet you can't see though, can you? This one was very nice. This is another. There's a modern one. Uh, Roman with Gil Sands shadow line. There you are. There's another. This is a, like it's raised, steam wheel. Now, remember that one? Cadillac, 1955. That's when I did that. Script, modern. Cadillac. It's all, pra if you wanted something to do in your spare time, it's just practice. Let me see, that's another useful poster type. I hope I'm not boring you too much, but this, it's so interesting to, to do lettering. Clipper, an ordinary Roman style, a modern clipper, pan and dac. Another quick one. I did all these uh, when in my workshop. There's a form, just what passed my time on. Just give them a coat of paint, the, uh, the on all, all the now then that that's a nice one, isn't it? I did these, see, useful for vans, coaches, etc. You know, for using on coaches. Here's another modern type, can you see? Coaches, advertisement and vans. There you see, there's another, and here's a fancy one, there, Roman, italics, and there's a painting I did with ordinary bit of black paint, on a white painted piece of paper, right, there's a cafe sign, let me show you, a cafe sign, that, you know, these was all what I did in my spare time, because I, I was a sign writer kind of thing, and it was uh, it was just so that to, to, to people could choose which type they wanted. Uh, now this was my emblem of my battery, Seven Sphinx mascot, 1954, 56 that was. Uh, Egypt. I did hundreds of these freestyle on all the wagons, all the guns, all the uh, all over the place. We had these side of the guns, side of the wagons and everywhere because that was our and there's a modern design modern designs, the lines at the back and then that all good practice if you wanted to try it there you are, Dignity Davis Shotfitter another one, Dodd See that? Cafe again there, another cafe. Have we come to the end here? Yes, that's the end of that. And then I pass my time. Right, they, that's what they call, I don't know if you can see it, it's what they call oak graining. Uh, it's dappling, uh, the dapples you get in oak wood. And that's the uh, Another uh, oak sap. Now this is root of oak. The root of oak, it was the bottom part of the tree and where they used to cut it for that. Now this is knotted oak. This is root of oak and this is knotted oak. Now would you believe all the, these different types of, you know. Now that's one I did with some old poster paint I had. Now. Would you believe here, this is a long time ago, and do you know what it is? What is what's the date on it there? Oof, God, it's ages ago. Look, gold leaf. Real gold leaf. When we, we used to do churches. That's real gold leaf, that. You picked it up off there with a, uh, a brush and rubbed it in your ear first like that get the electricity in it of a badger brush, a little badger, and then pick it up with that. Now I hope I've not gone on board the pants off yet. Yeah? So I'll say papa for now, ta-ta for now, thanks for looking in.